right, now it's time to show you this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Dallas Morning News says Southwest Airlines begins international service in July. It already carries more domestic passengers than anyone else. Southwest will offer nonstop flights to the Bahamas, Jamaica, and Aruba before expanding to Mexico. Britain's Telegraph says Queen Elizabeth's household finances are at an historic low. Only $1.6 million in reserve. That's down from $58 million. A government report says the Queen's advisors are overspending. It also finds that the royal palaces are crumbling and in urgent need of repair. Oh, no. Yes, only a million dollars in the kitty. You need to cut back. There's a lot of pain in the world. That's right. <laughs> USA Today says Hillary Clinton hasn't driven a car in 18 years, she told Car Dealers Conference yesterday. It's one of her regrets about public life. Last time I actually drove a car myself was 1996, and I remember it very well, and unfortunately so does the Secret Service, which is why I haven't driven uh, since then. <laughs> Clinton will continue to receive Secret Service protection as a former First Lady for the rest of her life. The Wall Street Journal says movie theaters and studios are fighting over trailers. An industry group says they're too long and wants them cut down to two minutes. They also suggest their trailers appear no sooner than five months before the film premieres. But the studios say they need longer trailers to promote their blockbusters. They sometimes market them a year in advance. But haven't you found when you go to the theater, the trailers are so long, you say, show me the movie. Yeah, I like this new rule. And the San Francisco Chronicle looks at the French group Daft Punk, which earned four Grammys on Sunday night when they won for best pop duo or group performance. Singer Pharrell Williams had to speak for them. On the behalf of the robots, <laughs> of course, they want to thank their families. <laughs> I love his hat. Yes. We're all rocking the Smokey the Bear hat there. They always wear those robot helmets, but here are some early photos of the men behind the mask. The two met in Paris when they were in eighth grade, and they've been making music ever since. Very cool.